be making basics. Hey, what's going on? It's Ever J Music back again with another video. I'm the owner of Beat Making Basics, and I'm gonna be showing you how to properly track out your beats. All right, when I'm saying track out your beats, for those who don't know, basically we're gonna be basically making all of these wave files, like your 808, your kick, um, your snare, all that type of stuff, okay? Um, so I'm gonna be using Logic Pro 10 in order to show you this. So specifically, if you have Logic Pro 10, this is gonna really help you out here, man. Um, usually, when I used to track out my beats, or you could say get, you know, bounce down the track stems, either way you wanna say it, but when I used to do that, I would open up my folder with the track outs in it, and they would be named differently. If you've been experiencing that, then I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks on how to avoid that. It'll be named properly and everything, okay? Now, the first thing you wanna do is make sure your tracks are organized. I usually make sure that I have my drums at the top and then um, my melody sounds at the bottom. So I, if you want, you can you know, pretty much adjust your beat to that. So I have my snap here. I, I could probably pull that up there, okay? Um, all of these are melody sounds. You got the hi hats, hey, you know. So you want to make sure you make sure you have your drums at the top and your melodies at the bottom. Once you have everything the way you want it, what you want to do is you can push Command Shift and E for export. Okay, that's one way you could do it, or you can come up here to File and scroll down to Export, and then scroll down to All Tracks as um, Audio Files. I usually use the uh, hotkeys, so I push Command, Shift, and E, and it's going to bring this up. Now, the first thing you want to do when you're bouncing down your tracks or you're tracking out your beats is go ahead and click on your desktop. So you want it to go there, and then you, what you want to do is create a folder. And with my folder, I just put the beat name, the BPM, and then my production name. So I, I own a production company called UkiahBeats.com, and so that's what I usually put on there, just Ukiah Beats. So I'm going to create the folder. I'm going to put the beat name. I'm going to put track outs or track out. And then I'm going to put the BPM, which is 126. And I can put, you know, my production company name. Boom. Okay. So now that we have that, I want you to pay attention to this section now. Um, you want to leave this alone, just trim slice at the foul end. Uh, you can put that there. I don't ever change that. Um, I always going to say that you want to put it as a wave file. This AIFF file is the same thing as a wave file, but it only it pretty much is a uh, Apple based wave file. This wave file is universal to all systems and everything like that. Don't want to put uh, this calf file right here. So select wave file. 24 bit whenever you're doing track outs um, primarily because the track outs are for other producers other engineers other artists and things like that so they can actually take the beat put it back together and mix it in with your vocals so I always want to get the best quality on that another thing that you want to keep in mind here is if you want to bypass the plugins usually as my you know for me as a producer I you know when I make my beat I have it you know mixed or a certain way to the way to the way i want it to sound you know what i'm saying um but you know sometimes they want to manipulate it um a different way and so you can push this to bypass your effects plugins but i don't necessarily do that you can also uh, click right here to include volume and pan automated automation i don't do a whole lot of volume and pan automation primarily because i use a plugin for that and so i don't click there this is very important right here Go ahead and click on overload protection only. What that's going to do is say if you have your kick drum, you know, turned all the way up in the mix, it's just going to make sure it turns it down just a little bit so that it's not going to be overly clipping or anything like that. Or actually any of the tracks in your mix won't be overly clipping. Now, this is the very um, important part that I want to po point out to you. This right here. OK, um, so right here, usually if you just have track name, once you, you know, track out your beats and open up your folder, 
it's gonna say like say when you you have um, all your tracks here so you have snare snap hi hey hi hat stuff like that it will it will say like a zero one after after each one or zero two after each one and it can be very annoying because after you track them out you have to go back into the folder and rename the tracks the way to get over that is to go ahead um, and click under elements right here and put custom so you can just drag that right there and then this I would just say drag it to the very beginning so what you're gonna have here is a custom name and I'm gonna show you what to put here or an idea what you can put here and then you're gonna have the track name and then what that's gonna do is it's gonna help your track outs to be to be very organized so um, custom usually what I do is I just put the beat name there you know what I mean and you could also put your production name too but that's kind of just overdoing it but you can put your production name I could put like Ukiah beats dot com here and um, I'll put a little dash and so basically what this is gonna do is gonna help people so say if say if you sell this beat to an artist online right um, there say they um, they download the files off your beat site they put the folder somewhere and then somehow their fi the files get scrambled what they can do is they can do a search on their computer and just put slap and then Ukiah beats or whatever your production company is and it will pull up all of the different tracks of your beat in one place and it'll be easy to find it because let me think about it like this say if you have a hundred beats that you that say if you're an artist or an artist has bought like maybe let's say 10 beats you know what I mean and say the files get scrambled they just accidentally put everything in one folder and now you have a you know 10 different kicks from 10 different beats and 10 different snares from 10 different beats and 10 different melody sounds what this is gonna do and even for yourself is gonna help you to organize your beats and so and this is also another way to brand them and, and keep them coming back to your site here so I actually like this idea of putting your website right there so you put the beat name, your website, dash, and then when we track this file out, what you're gonna see is that all of the uh, the, beat, the the track names are gonna say this before it and then the track name. So this basically, this is an example. It's gonna say slap, which is the name of the beat, ukiahbeats.com, dash 808. If you didn't have this, it would just say 808. So I'm gonna copy this and take it out. If you didn't have this custom thing right here, right, it's just gonna say 808, and then what you'll see is there'll be a dash after this and like a 01, and you'll have to really go back through and rename everything. So try doing it this way. I'm telling you, it'll save you some time in the long run, and you can go from there. So we're gonna go ahead and track out this beat, and we'll show you what it looks like after we get finished. All right, we are back and I have finished exporting all of my audio files or track stems into my folder. Uh, pretty much just wanted to show you how that's going to look now that we named everything the right way and exported it with the best settings. So let me go ahead and jump over here to my track out folder or track stems folder. And then as you can see here, you got the beat name, which is Slap. Um, got my production company, Ukiah Beats. We had to put the website down there too for branding purposes, ukiahbeats.com. And then I have the beat, the uh, track name next to each one. So they got the 808, you know, melody sounds, hi-hats, different things like that. So. I just think it was pretty much a very good tip that I wanted to share with you all. Again, um, hopefully this really has helped you. If it has or you like this video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.